ECN 167 Lecture 15 Theories of Subnational Conflict uh, Professor Armand Rosai 30 November 2023 Department of Economics Undergraduate Seminar Professor Cheney Wilson Using Data to Improve Economics Instruction That was Tuesday, December 5th 3.30 to 3 3 30 to 4 30 p.m. at the 2203 Social Science and Humanities Building Andrews Room reception to follow. Okay. Recap of last lecture. We have been focused in this class on testing potential solution, solutions to development challenges in weak states. But let's say we find that something works or it doesn't. This should inform policy, but does it? Evidence from Brazil that policymakers value results from research, that they uh, value studies more with bigger capital N, but otherwise may not have great grasp on external validity. They're also willing to implement policy following research. Uh, similar evidence from the World Bank, uh, though even less of a grasp of study precision, external validity there. Much more is needed in the area. Theories of subnational conflict roadmap, introduction, prevalence of subnational conflict, uh, persistence of subnational conflict, relevance of conflict for development. What causes war? Theories of subnational conflict. Can hearts and minds be bought? Introduction. The prevalence of conflict. Substate conflict and civil wars are common. 1.5 billion people live in countries affected by political violence. World Bank, 2011. Since 1960, one third of all nations have experienced a civil war. Blackman and Miguel, 2010. Figure 2. Proportion of countries with an active civil war or civil conflict, 1960-2006. On the vertical axis, proportion of countries in the year on the horizontal axis. Measuring proportion of countries with civil war and proportion of countries with civil war or conflict. Uh, the persistence of conflict. Conflicts are also highly persistent. 20% of nations have experienced at least 10 years of civil war since 1960. Blackman and Miguel, 2011. Most modern conflicts are in countries... Uh, have poor conflicts since the 1970s. Almost all of the 39 countries experiencing a civil war since 2000 also experienced one in the three prior decades. World Bank 2011. Figure 1. The distribution of civil war or conflict across countries. The relevance of of conflict for development. Conflict is empirically related to development and service delivery failures. People in conflict affected countries are more than twice as likely to be malnourished, three times as likely to miss primary school, almost twice as likely to die in infancy as people in other developing countries. There's a graph figure three. Uh, incidents of civil war on vertical axis in figure 3 and horizontal axis as GDP per capita and figure 3 is incidents of civil war by country income per capita there's measurements a 95% upper bound fan regression and 95% lower bound where does development spending go. 